educated because being part of this committee and going to all the meetings, I've really gained a broader perspective. A peaceful because right now I'm in a position where I've worked really hard to be at a place where I want to be. Privilege. Commitment. Stable because I am still learning about my own financial well-being. Flexible because it serves as an important reminder that our financial circumstances are subject to change. I was really hoping to achieve bringing a different voice to the conversation, bringing different perspectives. As a youth in Victoria, I'm always looking for those committees and those ways that I can share my voice. I was part of this committee last year and saw firsthand the tremendous impact it had. I wanted to share my financial knowledge with the youth as well as my experience as a teenager. I wanted to be able to exact real change on a subject that is very relevant to me. To greater um, expand my knowledge on financial literacy and share my knowledge as a youth. I had done work with the Victoria Foundation before and I loved what I did. So I thought, why not participate in more? This whole pandemic has really um, brought up to light um, the importance of youth's financial well-being. A lot of our discomfort of the situations we're facing maybe come from a place of misunderstanding. Uh, financial well-being um, goes beyond uh, just managing one's own budget. Having control over your own finances gives you control over your own self. The earlier you start, the better. I would say that I feel hopeful um, when it comes to my own financial well-being. I feel more prepared now than ever. I'm feeling excited about my financial well-being. I feel secure about my financial well-being. I am kind of nervous. I'm excited. I'm excited and this is what I want other people to experience, you know, fearlessly owning this financial well-being, this financial freedom. It doesn't have to be something that weakens us, but something that empowers us as a community.